Hello, welcome back. Uh, now it's time for part two. We're tying this uh, silver grey uh, mixed wing cl classic Selma flies by uh, hard uh, hail style. Sorry, <laughs> my my mead is uh, uh, brewing just in the corner there. It makes uh, a lot of strange noises. Also bear with me. Um, so yeah. I'm excited. Uh, I haven't done a mixed uh, wing fly in a very, very long time. So uh, let's begin. Let's do this. Okay, so um, let's start uh, building this uh, mixed wing uh, silver gray. So this is how I do it. And uh, yeah, I'm following the, the hail pattern. So first of all, uh, tippet. So this wing uh, is actually you, you do the same thing three times. So you tie in three different bunches. So I'm going to show you how to do one. So I'm just stripping apart all the feathers the parts of the feather that I don't want to use. So, dubbing needle. This one is handmade by Björn Allringer. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, I use it uh, as, yeah, for everything. So, just select the, the stripe here. pile on this side and one pile on the other side and then do the same on the other side of the feather and uh, yeah <laughs> my, my mead is bubbling there uh, and yesterday I, I started a cider uh, so it's bubbling in the kitchen so yeah a lot of things going on here preparing for some fishing trips this year, so it's nice to have your own home road uh, stuff. I might do a video of that as well, how I do it. So now I have one, um, one of each side on that, so then it's a uh, golden pheasant tail feather. So I'm gonna cut the small section here. on this side as well. We need to find one for the other side. We need to order some more tails I think. There we go. And then to uh, Cory. Oh actually it's busted in the pattern but Normally, that's always Cory. So oh, there we are, small piece. And if you're just practicing, you know, uh, use uh, turkey or whatever instead. It's unnecessary to practice with the premium feathers. So there we are, and then we going for yellow. side 
and then blue. Cutting that one off as well. And then move on to the other side. Oops. This one's straight. Cut it off. So now to the mixing of the wing, so to say. So I start with this uh, golden pheasant uh, tippet and the tail feather. So I put them on top of each other and continue doing the same with the quarry feather. Now they are on top of each other and then I take the yellow and do the same. And the blue. Everything on top of each other. And then the mallard. Now we have a bunch of all the colors for one section. We need to do this three times on each side. And then I just brush it a little bit, mix it, put them together. Now they hold. And so I'm gonna put that one over here. And then the same on the other side. Then we have the mallard. So 
down. Gently brush it. Put the pile over there, and I'm just going to repeat that uh, three and uh, two more times. Uh, so I'm not going to show that. So you all need to see now. You do it, so you know how to do it three times now. So I'm going to stop the video doing that, and then uh, rig everything to start to tie in. So see you in a minute. Okay. So now it's time to set the the three wings. So I take. On bunch and the bunch from the other side. So I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. Hopefully. So there we are. I'm just gonna brush it gently on both sides. So tying it in. That's one bunch. So let me take the other one. Same here, just brushing them together. And then we have the last bunch, but first they're going to wax the thread.
Oops. That wasn't that good. Let me hang something there. Now we have thread, so let me attach this one. Just playing with the wing a little bit. So, there we are, so I'm going to put the topping on top of that. I'm going to play with the wing a little bit more. To get the shape I want. But, uh, yeah, you start to see how it comes together. So I'm just going to varnish a little bit here and cut all the leftovers. And then we continue with the topping and the horn. Okay, so uh, uh, time for mallard on the sides. So I'm gonna start on my side. Just tying it in, gentle. And then on the side. Yeah. 
Hein. So I'm just gonna add a little bit varnish, and then when it's dry, I cut it, uh, cut it off the leftovers, and then we just gonna add a topping. So I'm gonna make sure this one has a proper something like that, maybe a little bit more. Maybe on something like that. And then open the horns and, and the fly is ready. Um, as you see, uh, I took the time in between uh, when everything was drying here to add uh, the yeasts. I didn't forget it. You never know. So, topping time. First of all, I'm going to add some wax. It's quite fun to tie a, a mixed wing uh, uh, fly. I haven't done it in four or five years. Something. There we are. And then for horns, then the fly is ready. Just need to finish off the head. So Back that thread again. Right. 
So let me bend this one a little bit. So, last step, before I finish off the head, and then I'm going to take a picture for, for the video. Maybe play with the wing a little bit to make it a uh, little bit more dense, but nah, I might not do that. little bit long I'm gonna have them even as even as possible so let me just drag this one a little bit there we are not bad at all I'm quite pleased with it so I just need to uh, do some varnish and then finish off the head and then I'm gonna shoot the picture of it uh, for the video. So that's how you do a uh, silver grey mixed wing uh, hail style. Um, I haven't done it in, in a very very long time, um, about four or five years so I'm not a professional doing it. So if you do it every day, you practice, then it, they become uh, nicer, of course. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased. It's not bad. It looks uh, very fishy, I would say. So uh, now I need to figure out what to tie next. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, just add a comment. And uh, I'm going to add a subscribe button here and also link to different videos over here. So um, basically, that's everything for today so i'm very very happy that you were watching the video and thanks for all your lovely support it's yeah it's amazing i love this uh, so see you in the next video and have a nice weekend bye